morning here we are again in another video i'm here at the back garden at the terrace looking for herbs to use for our grilled fish um let me check we have basil we have rosemary what else do we have oh oregano Oh, they have all withered and the plants were destroyed because of the constant raining. So let's check what to get. Mm -hmm. Oh, I will go for basil. Mm -hmm. And then a little rosemary. Okay, I guess that will do. So there, our uh, basil and oregano are washed. And uh, we're going to prepare them for, before grilling the fish. I guess I'll just remove the dry parts. I added some oregano, but you know, the leaves are not healthy. that I hope you can see that okay mm -hmm. separate the leaves from this from the stem It's nice to have a little garden at your backyard. Well, it's not a backyard, it's a terrace or whatever you call it, a balcony. Let's add some onions because you know our fish is not that fresh so we need a lot of spices to go with it because of the smell. It was frozen for a few days. Remember the, our sushi video? This is the fish. That's a leftover fish there. So, there. I want to put ginger on it to neutralize the smell of the fish and the fishiness, or what do you call it? Fishiness? I, I, I guess not. And. After that, I will salt the fish. Let's salt the fish. Just a little salt. See the leftover from the tuna fish used from our, um, what do you call that? Sushi video. So there. Hmm. Massage the salt, not too much salt. I don't use too much salt in my food because it kills the flavor. All you have to, all you can taste is the salt. And then we have here spices. I mix this, I made this mix of many spices like turmeric, uh, cumin, black pepper, curry. Um, coriander, horseradish, and so on. And five spices. Well, some spices really works for meat, fish, or vegetables, but I don't care. You don't have to follow every, every conventional ways of cooking as long as it will taste good in the end. Because as we said, whatever is available in your kitchen, you use it. That's being practical. Okay? Especially if you like butter. Then, yeah. Put something on top. 
to neutralize the smell. Yeah, I love using rosemary because special rosemary, it works well with meat. Yeah. I guess we can stuff some here inside. and spices. So there. Hmm. Isn't it nice? Let's put it in the oven on 230 degrees for let's say 20 minutes and we will check it every time. Okay? wash my hands first so there while our fish is at the oven let's cook a little sauce just a sauce like it's an orange juice but well, we shouldn't I I'm not very technical about the terms but well you know if you know the basics of cooking you can cook whatever you want and this one will make a pineapple sauce because it goes well with the tuna, okay? You won't, we won't use it on the two fishes. So there, so on the pan side, put your juice there. Boil it a little bit. Wait till it boils or simmers. Then put some sugar. Then the flour to make it. <clears throat> so it, it will stick to the fish when you put it. There. Uh, when the sauce thickens from the flour, I guess sometimes you should dilute the uh, flour first in a little water before putting it because sometimes the flour becomes clumpy. Then it's nice. It's uh, it tastes very pineapple, and but I want a little more. A sour flavor and lime flavor so I'll put more lime in it mm -hmm. and a little more salt there and when the sauce thickens just put it under medium fire okay the sauce has thickened now I, think I want to put a little lime zest more flavor
So there, just a little so it won't taste so bitter. Okay, there, we're done. Hmm. So we'll just wait for the fish to cook and we're ready to go. Let's flip our fish on the other side, okay? So at least it will be equally cooked on both sides. It smells great. Mm. I'm feeling happy about this fish. Okay, uh, when the fish is almost done, let's put some mushrooms for added nutrition and, of course, some flavor. Our fish is done now. After 40 minutes on the oven, it's already done. It's ready. So we will see. There. Hmm. Can you see that? Not so charred, but it's done just the right way. Okay? Not overcooked. Not raw. Okay, I guess we should um, do a little plating for a little presentation. Hmm. So, I will heat that salt again. There, I'm starving. Hmm. Let's put the onions there. And then, the mushrooms. See that. Look at that. I try to make my meals as balanced as possible if I can. Because my body can feel it if I need, I lack nutrition. Yeah. It's done. Okay, and the other two will be reserved for later. So there, we've got a happy fish, a nice dish for you. Let's taste it. Hmm, 
it's just falling apart. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. That's the most delicious fish I've ever tasted. Well, you know, when you just cook and don't overthink, I guess it will turn out delicious. <laughs> it doesn't, it's not even so fishy. Hmm. Hmm. You don't need to put a lemon now because of the sauce. It's delicious. Hmm. Even the mushrooms. Bye for now. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.